Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm my ESP32 radio frequency ID web server that checks if a tag is valid or not and shows the information through a web application that displays if a tag has a permission or it has an access that is denied. As you can see, I have here a list of my tags which are invalid and good also and my MFRC 522 card reader and the ESP32 microcontroller together with an LED and an active buzzer. If an RFID is invalid then the buzzer should sound and the web application should display that the access is denied however if we use a tag that is good and scan it then the led should open and the web application should display permission granted so let's try this one as you can see the led light up and our web application displays permission granted. Do you want to know how I did this project? Then let's start exploring. Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this, in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the important aspects of my ESP32 RFID web server project. Enable for you to follow with the project that I have done, then you need to have these following components. An ESP32 microcontroller, an MFRC522 card reader, RFID card reader, an active buzzer, an LED, and a resistor also, an RFID tags or cards, and we're using Visual Studio Code with platform I.O. extensions in developing this project using the Arduino framework. For the design of our system, as you can see, I have here my ESP32 connected with the LED and the buzzer, as well as the MFRC RFID card reader. Take, for example, an RFID tag or card is placed near the, our RFID card reader, then the, card re the RFID card reader will read the information in the RFID tag, after which it will send the information into our ESP32. The, our ESP32 contains hard-coded list of R valid RFID tags. So for example, if one of the RFID tags is valid, then the SP32 will send a server sent event into our web application and display the permission granted message. However, if an RFID tag is placed near an RFID that is invalid, then our, our ESP32 will send a server sent event and display the access denied in our web application. As you can see, the value of the RFID tag is gathered also from the, the RFID tag that was placed near our card reader. For the schematic and wiring, then just continue to follow the tables here. And there's only just a handful of component that you will wire up. So you just need the ESP32, the MFRC, the LED, and the buzzer. I forgot to add the resistor here, so just add a current limiting resistor also to this LED. And that's it for the discussion of the important step. You can see our project in my repository, which is in Donsky Tech in my GitHub account. And it's in the ESP32 projects under the platform IO projects. And as you can see, this is the format of the Visual Studio platform IO. And when you open this up, into our Visual Studio Code, then you would see the following files. And for each files that I have created here, 
I have added several information and comments on how it works. Actually, the companion write-up of this, of this video, which you can find at the description of this video, contains much greater information on how the project works. So I highly suggest that you check out that write-up. And that's it. I hope you had you will have fun doing this project. Happy exploring!